Let us see how Revit helps us in the design process. As part of the design process, we will see how we are able to quickly view and visualize what we have drawn. The visualization tools that we use include 3D views, sections, elevations and so on. I will start with drawing a few walls in the plan view. We will see how Revit helps me draw walls that are horizontal and vertical. It does this by showing me length of this wall and while I am aligning it shows me this dotted line. What I am going to do now is I want to resize uh, the room and change the distance between the two horizontal walls here. So what I will do is I will draw a dimension line. When I am changing the distance, to change the distance I need to select one of the two walls that to move. So I will select this wall here and I will see, you see that the dimension value can be changed. So when I am changing the dimension value, I can use any units and not necessarily the project units that are in millimeters. So instead of typing out 4000, I can just type out 4m to indicate 4 meters. Again here I will resize the room. Now that I have a form complete in the plan view, I would like to determine and evaluate to see how it looks. I will use the three for default 3D view. Oh, now I need to see both the plan and the 3D view. So I will type out WT on my keyboard. WT is a shortcut for a window tile. This opens up the two views in a tiled display. It shows the plan and the 3D view. This way I can see both the level 1 plan and the 3D view at the same time. So if I make a change in one of the two views, it simultaneously reflects the change in the other view. Here I am changing a wall height parametrically. That means what I am going to do is change the height in the properties palette. I need to draw the roof now. 
to draw the roof i'll switch over to level 2 this is the level on which i'll model the roof I now have two overlapping flat roofs. I'll experiment with the levels of the second roof. I'll check out if that looks okay. Let's just keep it the same level. I'll experiment with the inclined roof. That looks a little interesting. Let's keep it that way. I'll join the walls to the roof. This looks a little better. Let me explore this further. Oh, here there is a little problem. Maybe we need to adjust uh, the joint between the two roofs. Let me draw a, a section to check out this clearly. Oh, so I'll perhaps need to move the inclined roof here to match the horizontal roof. The joint would look a little better this way. Here we saw how we used Revit to design, identify issues and try to resolve these issues. We have seen how Revit helped us in the design process.